Hi guys. Smarty here. From the channel Smarty Stranger. Previously, we published a series of lectures on different programming instructions. If you have not seen our previous series, then go to our channel. Smarty Stranger. And take a look on these different instruction families. Today we will learn. How can we convert any electrical diagram into a PLC program? When you do these, you should know the basic symbols which are used for programming. And these are normally open contact. Normally open contact is normally like an open switch. When its corresponding physical input is energized or high, normally open contact becomes close contact. And when input to energized or low, normally open contact again becomes open contact. Normally close contact. Normally close contact is normally like a close switch. When its corresponding physical input is energized or high. Normally close contact becomes open contact. And when input to energized or low. Normally close contact again becomes close contact. Coil or output. When all contacts in a rung fulfill the requirement of a single rung their related coil energized. And if any of the contact does not fulfill the requirement, coil will not be energized. Let's start with a simple example. Here we are seeing that there are two switch and they are controlling a bulb. When we press on switch 0 1 button, bulb will on. And when we release the button or open the switch, bulb or lamp will off. Now we will convert it into ladder diagram. Let's convert it in PLC program. First we will make some tags for input switches and an output. Consider here. We have two switches in parallel. So, we insert two normally open contacts. At output we have a bulb or lamp. Insert a coil for bulb. Attach tags. Save the program. Download into simulator. Run the simulator. Click on monitor on. Let's check it. When we press switch 1 on. Bulb will on. When we press switch 1 off. Bulb will off. Repeat the program. See, when we press switch 2. It related contact in PLC program also energized. And bulb will on. When we release or switch off the switch to. It related contact in PLC program also to energized. And bulb will off. Let us consider another example 02. Here we have an emergency circuit. Five emergencies are installed in different areas of field. To break the connection. These emergencies are connected with five relays separately. And contacts of these emergencies are used in series to operate another relay, which is relay K10. Contacts of K10 relay could be used in other outputs for safety purpose. In normal condition. When we energized our circuit. All relays are in operating condition and their contacts are energizing relay K10. This is healthy condition of circuit. When operator insert emergency in any area. It's relay to energized. And its specific contact break the series connection of K10 relay. And relay K10 also to energized. When K10 relay to energized. All programs output stops. And when operator normalize the emergency after inspection. Our circuit becomes healthy again. Guys this is a hard wired logic. We can convert it in a PLC program. In PLC program, we could use the contacts of these emergencies as inputs, and could make a logic without of using relays. It could be cost saving and easy to troubleshoot. When we install a PLC. This diagram looks like this. You see circuit has been minimized. A lot of wiring has also been removed. 
Now our circuit has become so simple. Let us convert it in a PLC program. First make some input tags for 5 emergencies. Make an output tag for operating of K10 relay. Listen guys when we make program. It depends on programmer how high designed it, we will try to make it simple. Insert 5 normally open contact in series. And a coil. Attach emergencies tags with these contacts. Attach output tag with an output coil. Save the program. Download it into PLC. Wait until completion of download. Run your simulator. Let's check its behavior. In normal condition. All signals from emergency buttons are coming. You can see that K10 output is energized. When we put emergency on any area output to energized. When we normalize the emergency. Output energized again. Put again any emergency. K10 output to energized, and when we normalize the emergency. Output energized again. Let's see another example. Which is more complex than previous. By remembering the basic symbols. You can convert any electrical diagram into a PLC program. So, let's start. Here we are using one switch for stopping of whole circuit. One switch is used for forward start of motor. And one switch is used for reverse start of motor. Two contacts are used to remain the motor running. Two contacts are used to break the connection for opposite starting of motor. And two outputs could be seen for forward and reverse start. Let us convert it into a PLC program. Make some tags. One input tag for start stop switch. One input tag for forward switch. One input tag for reverse switch. Two output coils for forward start and reverse start of motor. First we make a logic for forward start. And then we will expand it for reverse start. In network 3. Insert a normally open contact for forward start. A normally open contact for start stop breaker. Insert a coil. Insert a normally open contact in parallel of forward start switch. Attach tags. Now in network 4. Insert a normally open contact for reverse start. Insert a normally open contact for start stop breaker. Insert a coil. Attach tags. Insert a normally close contact in both networks. These contacts will stop the motor to run in other direction, when it is running in one direction. Attach tags. Now we will add an interlock in both networks. The purpose of these interlocks is. When motor is running in forward direction. And suddenly reverse command appear. They will stop the motor, and make a way to run motor in reverse direction. Our program is complete now. Save the program. Download into a simulator or PLC. Run the simulator. Click on monitor on. First we give a high signal on start stop contact. To energize the circuit. Now when we give a high signal on forward contact. Consider here. Motor has been started in forward direction. If we give a high signal to reverse start, motor will not shift to reverse direction. Because forward start button is still pressed. Ok, release the button. Now we give a low signal on forward button. Motor remains in running condition, because of this contact, this is not a physical contact. 
This is a logical contact taken from output. Motor will remain in running condition until we switch off the main breaker. Or there is a high signal comes from reverse starting of motor. Let's give a reverse command to the motor. Check here motor has been started in reverse direction. Release the reverse button. Motor is still running. Again press the forward button. Motor start running in forward direction. Release the forward button. Motor is running in forward direction now. Ok, now it will remain in running condition until there is a low signal comes from start stop breaker. Check when we give a low signal. Motor stopped. Switch on again. Now press reverse start button. Motor has been started. Release the reverse start button. Motor is still running. Press forward start button. Motor stopped from reverse direction. And started again in forward direction. So guys. You see how can we convert any electrical diagram into a PLC program. Again we are telling you that it depends on programmer, how he make a program. And how he plays with instructions. If you have any confusion, or want any information about automation. Please leave a comment. We will try to give you the solution of your problem. For more informative videos. Stay on channel. Keep watching our videos. Thanks for watching.